morning, lions. Happy Wednesday to you. It is Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. And it's going to be a wonderful day. I can just feel it. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with our substitutes. Today, we welcome Miss Mir. She is going to be um, taking the place of Miss Vanya for the morning. Unfortunately, we won't have a sub for Miss Vanya in the afternoon because Miss Mir is going to go into second grade and sub for Mrs. Walker. So thank you, Mrs. Mir, for being here and um, helping everywhere we need you. We appreciate it, and we hope you have a fabulous day. Um, also in the building this afternoon will be Mrs. Hessler. She will be subbing for Miss Mahivik. Uh, Miss Mahivik is here right now. Thank you, Miss Mahivik, for being here. We know your kids love having you back, and um, we appreciate your willingness to come in, and we hope that Mrs. Hessler has a fabulous day this afternoon as well. Our lunch, um, pretty pretty popular lunch today, it is hamburgers. And tomorrow's breakfast is going to be French toast sticks. <clears throat> I love the weather. I could talk about this kind of weather all day long, especially for this time in November. Um, currently, our temperature is 40 degrees, and it's going to warm up to about 73 degrees. I expect you can go outside without taking your coats at lunchtime. Of course, I'll probably still take mine because I'm always cold no matter what, but your temperature should range between 63 and 71 degrees. There will be a slight wind, but nothing terrible. All right, so we have no birthdays today, um, but we do have several positive office referrals and other celebrations. So let's start off with Mason Jackson in first grade. He is being recognized by his teacher, Mrs. Muir, for his self-control, attitude, and respect. Mason has had such great self-control and respect he has been a super helper. I really appreciate his help from Miss Muir. Way to go, Mason. Miss um, Peachy is recognizing one of her students in fourth grade, Macy Sprague. She's recognizing her attitude, responsibility, gratitude, teamwork, respect, and compassion. Macy decided to spend her recess time picking up trash off the playground without being asked to do so. Way to show pride in our school, Macy from Miss Peachy. Thank you, Macy. We all need to take care of our school property, don't we? Okay, Miss um, Jesse is recognizing Easton Sauer in Mrs. Haig's room for his attitude, hard work, and she made up a new category, flexibility. Um, in computers today, Easton's computer would not work. He was flexible and moved to a Chromebook. He then worked hard to figure out the trackpad. Easton did this all with a positive attitude. Thanks, Easton. And that is from Miss Jessie. Um, Miss Jessie is recognizing um, two more kindergartners from Miss Haig's class, Hannah Gompert and Bentley Humphrey. She's recognizing their responsibility, hard work, and academics. Mrs. Haig brought her class to the lab to work on iReady. Bentley and Hannah were able to find the website and log in all by themselves. Way to go, Bentley and Hannah. Nice job, kindergartners. All right. In first grade, we get to recognize Emma Anderson. She has passed her number recognition on Formative Loop. Miss Mahivik is recognizing her entire class. She's recognizing their attitude, teamwork, and compassion. It's not easy having a lot of subs. I appreciate your flexibility. Your hugs and smiles made me so happy when I returned. From Miss Mahivik. Thanks, first graders. Um, Ms. Mahivik is also recognizing Colton um, for his attitude, hard work, and academics. Colton works hard at his schoolwork. He was our calendar camper, and he did an amazing job. I am also proud of all of your hard work. So, nice job, Colton. Congratulations. And Emma Anderson is being recognized by Mrs. Mahivik for her attitude, responsibility, respect, and academics. Emma is always on task and is a great listener. She is kind and respectful. Emma is very helpful when there is a sub. Way to go, Emma, and all of our first graders who were recognized and all of our lions who were recognized. All right, so I had a couple of kids who brought me down some jokes. Um, actually, there's gotta be more. Yes, okay, so this first one, comes from a fifth grader who was extremely excited to come down to my office and bring this to me last week. Um, it is from Caitlin. What fish comes out at night? A starfish. All right, 
this one was left on my door. I'm not sure whose it is. Why did the boy eat his homework? Because his teacher said it was a piece of cake. All right, this was left for me by Amy. Oh, this isn't a joke. Thank you for the note, Amy. I guess I should have opened it up before. I thought it was a joke on my door. Aw, thank you very much, Amy. I appreciate that and I will hang it up. Okay, I do have another joke. This one is from Heather Gumpert. She's told me these in the cafeteria and I forget them and she finally remembered to write it down. What is a rock's favorite kind of music? Well, rock and roll, of course. What is a rock's favorite kind of way to travel? In a rocket. Thank you, Heather, for writing those down so that I could remember them. All right, finally, before I let you go, there are some days we need to celebrate, um, although we don't have birthdays for a couple more days. Did you know that today is Mickey Mouse Day? Minnie and Mickey Mouse made their debut in um, 1928, so August or November 18th, 1928, in the cartoon Steamboat Willie. Um, I found that out today, and um, I wonder how long ago Mickey Mouse was created or made his debut. So you would do 2020 minus 1928. I'd love to hear if you find out that math answer. It is Princess Day. Um, so all, all you girls and teachers that are out there, um, let's celebrate our inner, inner princesses. You deserve a day. Um, educational support day. So all of the secretaries and custodians and paraeducators that help us get through our days, we are celebrating you today. We couldn't do this without you. Um, I'm glad that they gave you a day. And it is apple cider day. Although I have to say it's pretty warm. I don't know that I need apple cider today, but I do like my apple cider almost any day. So you never know. Maybe we'll get some brewing in the, in the teacher's lounge today. Well, everyone, that's all I have. I hope you have a wise and wonderful Wednesday. Oh, I do know one more thing. I need to do a minute with a lion today. So let me draw a tag real quick. And also, since um, tomorrow will be our normal day to do the, the radio call-in show, we're going to do that today. But let me draw the ticket for a minute with a lion, and then you can come down Actually, I might have to call you down later because I have a couple things I have to do um, in the building, some teacher observations and things. So let me grab the tickets and let's find out who our Minute with a Lion is. Okay, so um, it's getting pretty close to full. It's not quite full yet. I think let's go ahead and just hang on to our tickets this week because um, I am not going to be here to count them in the morning. So let's go ahead and just um, keep the tickets. We'll roll them over until after break and we'll turn them in. We'll have a really big um, numbers to add to our totals. Okay, we have a kindergartner, Nevea. I'll, I'll call your teacher down as soon as I'm ready, okay? And we will play Minute with a Lion. All right, everybody, have a wise and wonderful Wednesday.